And here we are back. Back, back, back again. Monet. What's going on? Um, So we are not reviewing RuPaul's Drag Race All-Stars 7. I will yes. be on the pit stop. Um, If you want to hear my opinions on the RuPaul's Drag Race All-Star 7 all winter season, then please tune into the official. Uh, official review show the pit stop however monet and i decided it'd be really actually fun and interesting if we went back and reviewed some old drag race specifically yeah. rupaul's drag race season eight yeah so this season of watchery will be looking back at season eight of rupaul's drag race which was in 2016 obviously bob won that season and um it'll not the be spoilers a- not the spoilers well, if you if, if 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 I spoil that for you, you need to get your shit together, Mary. It's been what was what that tw- eight years? No, nope, six years. Six years, a dainty six years. Seis años. So, um, I think we should just well before we get into it. Do you obviously you have fond memories of season eight? Uh, one I would assume is winning season eight. What any other before we go back and watch all of it? Can you remember anything off the top of your head that you really loved about your season besides winning? I mean, there were a lot of things about the season that I loved. I loved meeting the people that I work with. I loved um, being on my first like television show as like a regular on a show, not just like some pop in and out thing. Uh, I loved being in Hollywood. I loved uh, doing. Was that your first time in LA? My first time in LA. Yeah, ever. Oh. My first time in Hollywood. Over on, um, we used to film on uh, Santa Monica and Las Palmas. Wow! If you ever, if you're in that, if you're, then we don't, they don't film there anymore. But if you ever want to find out where they used to film Drag Race, at least season eight, anyway, it was at uh, Santa Monica and Las Palmas, uh, right here in Hollywood. Yeah, um, my, my, well, was, mine was not filmed there. Mine was filmed in um, Simi Valley, was season ten, and um, I don't know where, where they film All Star Seven. All Star Seven was the same place they filmed All Stars Four, which is in Burbank somewhere. I don't, I don't know where it was in Burbank. All right, so let's get started with the entrance looks. First okay, so walk in the season ten. Th- th- first shit. of all, this is my season. I'll 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 drive this ship. Honey. First to walk in for season first eight to was walk in Naomi, with Naomi Smalls. Smalls. And don't, I think you, Naomi. Can, can you can you slow down? You I are think you're wild. Gonna be, Wait, you're Monet, wild. slow down, bitch. We are the first person to walk in. What do you need to slow down for? You are rocking and rolling. The first one is Naomi Small. Yes. <laughs> we sort of walked in. And I think Naomi looks incredible. This bodysuit is, she looks fucking hot. Um, I love her choice of shoe. I love the hair. She looks hot. She looks sexy. She looks great. And her, her interest line was, check your lipstick before you come for me. Yeah, that is a um, Naomi Campbell quote. You know, Naomi Campbell follows one girl on, um, one RuPaul Drag Race girl. Maybe Shay now too. And it, nope. To this day, she follows one RuPaul's Drag Race girl, and it is it? Naomi Smalls. Work. Fierce. She's the only one. Yeah, she, look, she looks really good. Up next, we have Cynthia Lee Fontaine, who said, how you doing, Miss Amores? You want to see my cuckoo? Um, and she is wearing this um, red and white dress. It looks like two dresses put together, and mm-hmm. the, the entire brassiere is exposed. And this is, this, is not a, this is not a great look. I do not. I do not like this look. Yeah, this is not great. But I will say Cynthia had she had so much energy and when Cynthia came in, the, like the room felt really like not that Naomi brought it down or anything. I, I, I actually right. want to say when Naomi walked in, Naomi like like she walked in like she owned a place. Naomi like walked in. This was her apartment. And she was just like lounging around. She went to the mirror. She walked around. And Cynthia had great energy too. I like I like Cynthia's <laughs> energy. She was great. Really yeah, sweet. I love when Cynthia says, "I am sexy as a goddess and funny as a clown." Are you ready for me? Um, yeah, she's great. Yeah, she's she's just a very charming person in general. One of the nicest queens I've ever met in my life. That being said, I did not like this look. Up next was Wait, what that... do you think about this look? You haven't you haven't your thoughts on the look. You just... Well, from the picture, I'm only seeing from the side. The two pieces look a little wild. I will say I do like the red. I like that she had um I think that she uh uh I think it looks fine. It's not like my favorite look, but I think it's fine. I don't hate the look. It's not but I, I think it's fine. I also like her hair. She was doing that old drag, uh, which you don't see. I mean, in the drag that I uh, on Drag Race now, you don't see it often. But like Trinity did this, Cynthia did it when they with girls with Ginger Minge does it a lot when they take that black spray paint and they would spray their hair to blend it into the wig. Mm-hmm. Um, so when somebody I watched it, watched it again, I was like, oh my god, I forgot queens do that. Um, up next, we have uh, Dex, Dex exclamation point. Um, she walks in, and she goes, "What's up, nerds?" And she is giving you some um, storm 
fantasy. Yeah. Um, yeah, she's wearing like leggings with a corset on top. But she's no, she's wearing, she looks like she's wearing like a, um, a leot, not a leotard, a bodysuit that's maybe from the tits down to the floor, uh, to turn like a, a bodysuit from the tits down. And she has a corset on top of it with white hair. And, um, yeah, it's definitely a nod to Storm from X Men. And, um, Dax has cool energy too. I think Jack, Jax, I think Dax, uh, she feels, Good. I like Jax walking in the working too. She doesn't feel strange or weird. But how do you feel about this look? Um, it's really simple. Not my fave. It's very simple. I do not. Would you wear uh, it? I I don't like this look, and I, don't, and I would not wear this. Um, uh, yeah, I do not like this look. She's wearing like a, like a bolero, or not even a bolero, it's like a sh- like a sh- short vest, and I think that the top and the leggings are separate because the top looks shiny and the leggings look matte um the leggings look shiny too i think it's just how the, the, the position of her of how she's posing but i'm not I, I don't i don't particularly uh care for this look but i do love that dax walks in and calls herself i am the queen of all nerds this is such a cool i don't know it's a really cool title to give yourself up next we have uh nasha lopez who is a former miss continental which is probably uh the most prestigious drag pageant there is in the world um and uh she's wearing i actually like this look i think this skirt is really cute i love this pleating i love this uh the the feathers on this top. i love the feather top yeah i think she i love her cool. hair i like her shoes she goes hola the beauty is here my chick is feeling hola ola um yeah i think nisha looks gorgeous i i love this feather i saw i was watching this and i was like oh my god that could actually be a really cute outfit like i would wear something like that now with like this feathered Long sleeve top with the gloves and this girl. I think she looks great with the bang, long straight hair. I think she looks gorgeous. She looks great. Up next, um, we have Acid Betty. Oh yeah, Acid Betty was next. She says, "No need to adjust your TV sets. This acid trip is all real." I love that interest line. I love her energy when she walked into the room. I love that she's spraying this stuff all over this mask. I like this outfit. It's so eclectic. Her hair looks cool. Uh, this is a cool. I love this interest look, and I love her her entrance. Everything. I I'm obsessed. <laughs> yeah, I'm not I obsessed, I, but I really like it. I um, like uh, I wouldn't wear the look. I would definitely wear the hair, but not the whole look. the whole The whole look is isn't isn't something that that, that fits my aesthetic and drag. But I think she yeah, looks I wouldn't great. wear it, but I really think it looks really cool. And she said, uh, the main bullet point to Acid Betty is that she is a bitch, and I can confirm she's not joking around. Acid Betty is a bitch. Yeah, I love that like, she said that. She's she's dead ass serious. Acid Betty, Acid Betty is a fucking bitch, man. She let she let us know that she was going to be the bitch of the season. And I fucking love that. Um, up next was Miss uh, Robbie Turner was after Acid Betty, and honestly, this is one of my favorite entry lines. I, I I don't know why I think this entry line is funny because she walks in and she says, "Good morning." I didn't realize this was happening today, and for some reason, I love this entry line, and I think Robbie looks great. I think that I mean, I would definitely like some more body on her. If she was to bring the waist in a bit more and put some. I, I can't tell if she's wearing pads or not, but um, I would. I think I don't it would think give us. It'll give us a little more va va voom. I love the ostrich feathers. I love the I love uh the robe. Um, I think I I like the look. I think it's great. Um, I also love this line. I've always said if she ever came back, she should walk in with her wig in her hand and like have her makeup done and go. No, guys, I'm serious. This time, I really didn't know what was happening today. That'd be a great interest line. And I do not like this look. I I don't like that her panties are busting out of the bottom of this dress. It makes her torso look so long. It makes her legs look so short um and i do not find this uh this color scheme to be flattering up next we have kimchi kimchi walks in and goes i came to chop suey the competition i think this is i think this is a great fucking look kim looks great i love the hair with the 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 um the geometry of the dress it looks really dope with these really cool shoulders and this hip part and it ties in the middle i think kim looks great and the makeup the, the best makeup of the season it, lo- it it looks so good and it was especially ahead of its time honestly i think kim looks great drag me i think i love the monochromatic of it i love this is a great look kim looks great her interest line is great she has a great sense of humor i love the donut the donut come for me oh, moment for really me was head. major Kim is really a fun drag queen, and I love that um, that uh, Naomi was so starstruck by Kim walking in. Like, 
And, and, Kim and was Naomi, the biggest Instagram girl. Kim, 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 had, yeah. had, Kim had like 50,000 followers before she even got on Drag Race, like back in the day. And Naomi did not shut up about it for a while, being like, I am up. This is my life. Like She was like really, really uh, blown away by by the fact that we were in the same competition as um, as Kim Chi. Up next, we have Thorgy Thor. She goes, woo, Thorgy Thor with a Thor. T-H and orgy, and I feel incredible. <laughs> Why are you laughing? Thorgy was great. I love. I think Thorgy looks really good. I feel like I remember when Thorgy got this outfit at a thrift thing. Like they were doing, there was there was like a lot of stuff. One of those things. I remember. I feel like I remember Thorgy buying this. Anyway, Thorgy looks great. Um, I love that the her. I mean, I would have done contrasting hair. I think it all is all like too much red. Maybe a different color wig would have like made it pop a little more. But this is quintessential Thorgy. Like this is something Thorgy would have worn to Tuesday nights at Saliva. This is something something Thorgy would have wore with like a crazy headpiece on it. I think Thorgy looks great. It's her personality. She's a fashion clown. She's my oldest drag friend. I said that time and time again, and I like this look. I like the hair. I like the belt. I like the uh, Howard. It's so Thorgy. Her energy coming in was so good. Mm -hmm. I thought Thorgy was just a, this is a great, great entrance. I think Thorgy is just watching at home. I would have been if I was like not not on this season. I'd have been like, oh my god, I love this queen and I still love her. Yeah. Up next was Bob the drag queen. You walked Bob the in drag queen. in uh, your white leotard with the mesh sleeve to fill in the word on your on your on, on, on the leotard that said Kunt. The sleeve um, is kint. not mesh. It is it is black. Oh, well, the top is mesh. Uh, it says Kint. And um, yeah. What do you think about your look? I think this outfit is great. I stand by this. Uh, I think it's very clever. I um, I, I made this wig. And this is my first time ever stacking a wig. I don't know why I thought stacking a wig is something you should do for the first time going into drag race. And when I say first time ever, I mean literally that morning. I did not practice back home. But I stacked the wigs that morning. Word. Horrible idea. Cannot disrecommend that enough to anyone going to drag race. I don't know why I wear this this tiny little necklace with this outfit. It is the necklace is literally like like the pendant on the necklace is smaller. It's like two thumbs smaller. It than just two too thumbs. much going on because you have the necklace and you have the like long hair. I feel like it's like too much going on in your neck. She doesn't do done no necklace at all. Maybe maybe a bracelet on the right side. Yeah, going back, I would I would change the necklace, but I, but I stand by I don't stand by the hair and the necklace, but I stand by this leotard, um, and 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 the girls who get it get it, and the girls who don't don't. Yeah, um, yeah, I wish I, I wish you wore nails, um, but I yeah, was I, wearing nails. I'm absolutely wearing nails. Where? You mean they're like you there. painted your nails? I am 100 percent wearing. This is the first time I've ever worn nails. Was in the workroom. I wasn't wearing claws. But I was 100% wearing nails. Oh. Um, yeah, I would ditch I would ditch the hair and I would ditch the necklace. But I think the bodysuit is fine. Um, the white and black harsh, is, is good. Some harsh critiques. All right, let's go into Layla McQueen. <laughs> All right, lady, let's turn up the juice and see what shakes loose. Um, this, I, the, the middle of this outfit is great. This hair and these shoes, I can not. I, I think Layla's literally just wearing a wig straight, I mean, directly out of the box. And you're wearing two. Um, no, I have two wigs on that I stacked on top of each other. I said two. I thought you said you were, I, said, I thought you said you are too. No, you. I said, I, said, I said you're wearing two. Yeah, but I, I teased them and I stacked them. Layla's literally just wearing a wig that is just out of the bag and on her head. All she did was glue it and cut the lace. Um, I do not like this hair. I don't like these shoes, but I actually really like this outfit. I used to wear stuff like this a lot, actually, mm -hmm. um, in my early days of drag. I, I, I love black and white. I love stripes. Yeah, I hate the shoes. Um, the hair doesn't bother me so much. I I, mean, I wish it was up, but I, I, I'm i not bothered by it. I hate the shoes. Um, I, I, I don't get shoes on Drag Race, unless it's like a super intentional thing that like really like it sets the outfit off. I just don't get flats. Um, and I don't well, they're necessarily not flats. They're, they're I mean, not, they're, not they're platform flats. shoes. They're yeah. platform shoes. Um, which I because Layla is very tiny, so she she wanted height, but she's like, I ain't wearing no fucking heels. Um, and um, I think she has nails on too. I can't tell. I, th I think her 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 fingernails are painted. Um, and the fur, bitch, a, a bitch loves to put a fur on talking about executive realness. Um, but yeah, I don't. I I wish I wish I wish she had on heels. Up next, so we have Chichi Devane. Oh. 
she, uh, she, she Devane, who is uh, one of my just sweet, sweet sisters from Drag Race. She did pass bon away. Bon Roulé. She said, let's say Le Bon Ton Roulé, which means let the, let the good times roll. Mm-hmm. And I think she she looks great. I love this garbage. Bitch, if, if you didn't tell me this was a garbage bag, maybe because I know now, but like I'm trying to think, if, she, if I did not know this was a garbage bag, would I have guessed that? Especially from the bodice part of it, how she like made it look really... She made, it, it, it looks really good. I can't tell what shoe she has. Are those heels? They have to be heels. They're they're like heels, but they were like strappy. They were like these uh, strappy type heels. And then she stoned the lower half, but she didn't stone the top half. And um, <laughs> I really, I really like this outfit. I love the bodice. The, you have to get up close. The bodice is crazy. Like the amount of detail in this bodice was really, really intricate. I think she looks great. I did not love these yeah. shoes. Yeah, I but love the I, shoes. But I love this outfit, and um, and when she walked in, she was like, "I'm cheap," and we're all like, "Girl, you look great! Like this is like, this is really well done and very it seems very hard to do." Yeah, and I also love that she put the gloves on the, on the hair. I think I think Chi Chi looks really good. Um, but up next, Rule. up next was Miss Derek Berry, and bitch, Derek looked so fucking good and Derek's line was it's Derek bitch obviously call back to his Britney bitch and Derek looks fucking great this 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 outfit is fucking great her hair looks really good and Derek honestly I just think uh, tied with, um, tied with Kim Chi but I think Derek has one of the best entrances she looks fucking incredible she looks delicious Derek looks very good her entrance was very good the line was great she looks great she Derek did a very very good job on this uh and she's the 100th queen to ever wiggle into the workroom on RuPaul's Drag Race I also want to say out loud too um we we skipped that's why I was trying to say you were going so fast before the entrance what? to season eight the very very beginning to season eight is one of my favorites because it's the 100th episode there's oh. this big countdown it's like a retrospective on rupaul's drag race yeah, it shows iconic too. moments it shows girls winning and then it ends with violet chashki yelling come, come through. through i really always thought that was just such a great great beginning to a season probably one of my favorites that there's ever been to be honest it's all about confidence when it's time for sex, right? Sometimes stress, anxiety, or a bad day can affect your performance and ruin fun for everyone. BlueChew.com to the rescue, baby. BlueChew is a unique online service that delivers the same active ingredients as Viagra and Cialis. Yes, there you heard correct. But baby, it's chewable and it is at a fraction of the cost. Blue Chews tablets help people achieve harder, stronger erections and combat all forms of erectile dysfunction. Because Blue Chew is an online prescription service, there are no visits to the doctor's office, no awkward conversations, and no waiting in line at the pharmacy girl. And baby, it ships right to your door in a discreet package. The process is V simple. Sign up at bluechew.com, consult with one of their licensed medical providers, and once approved, you receive your prescription within days. The best part, it's all done online because we're in the 20 20- First century, and that's how it'd be doing. Blue Chew's licensed medical providers work with you to find the right ingredient and strength for your prescription. Listen, you don't like swallowing pills? Okay, that is not a problem. Blue Chew's tablets are chewable. She just chew them mugs up. Blue Chew's tablets are made in the USA and they prepare to ship direct. So it is cheaper than a pharmacy. And there's a special deal for our listeners. Try Blue Chew for free when you use our promo code RIVALRY at checkout. Just pay $5 for shipping. That's bluechew.com, promo code RIVALRY to receive your first month free. Yeah. Um, um, but who has I also love favorite? that uh, Derek Berry, uh, not Derek Berry, Layla McQueen's like, Derek Berry's going to be huge competition. Um, and I think that a lot of us were actually counting Derek out. We were like, she's not going to do well here. And a lot of us were wrong because she did very well, actually. Top five. Um, who had your favorite entrance look? Um, I'm going to give it to... Honestly, I'm going to give it to Derek Barry. I think Kim's look is cool, but I think Derek's outfit actually has more pieces to it. Um, the wig is nicer. More I pieces? Think that what do you mean more pieces? The more, uh, more elements that I like. Let me phrase it. The more elements that I like. like I like the stoning on the um, on this cat suit. It's also a Britney reference that is an Elvis reference. It's a, it's a Derek reference that is a Britney reference that is an Elvis reference. Which is honestly kind of great because Elvis was the king of Vegas and uh, Derek Berry is the fucking queen of Vegas. But me and Derek were talking the other day and we we said um, we actually both agree that Hot Chocolate is the queen of Vegas and then next is Derek Berry. So Hot Chocolate is the queen of Vegas. 
Yeah, hot chocolate's going to Vegas, and yeah. Derek is is next. Derek is a very very good. At doing Vegas, um, I think kimchi is my favorite look. I think that this look tells us everything we need to know about kimchi: how she loves anime, her how she loves to use color, how great her makeup is here. I think it's such a strong point of view for her entrance look. I love how 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 how, ge- how geometric that uh, the outfit is, and it's like really cool. Like she looks really great. I think kimchi nailed the entrance look. Like for your for the first time, America is meeting you. We're like work, bitch. So then RuPaul walked into the workroom, tells us that we are, that this is the 100th episode of RuPaul's Drag Race. I forgot how big RuPaul's hat was. I forgot about this hat. Yeah, this Ru- was the hat. RuPaul used to RuPaul's love the huge hat hats. Era. RuPaul's um, hat I'm, race. I'm also gagging at how I just realized, I was like, I was so skinny. So we um, so we all get called um, back onto the main stage. Which I love that they changed now. it up for, for this season. That they didn't do it just in the workroom. They brought you all back to the main stage. A nice change of scenery. So we're back to the main stage. We're standing like basically right in front of the judges panel. Mm. and um, Or where the judges panel would be if they hadn't moved it or something. I can't remember. And we are... They announced that we're going to be doing a uh, basically an homage to the history of Drag Race. So every girl is getting a design challenge from a previous season. And Robbie Turner has been chosen to uh, dole out the challenges. Why was she chosen? Why we all thought. We don't know. We do not know. That's why I thought she was was a plant. That's why we thought she was a plant. Also, so RuPaul comes to the workroom to check in on us. And I forgot that RuPaul asked me who my competition was. And I said, I don't have competition. It do take nerve. It do. And RuPaul was like, okay, girl. Yeah, I forgot that RuPaul was like, I, I just forgot that I told RuPaul that I don't have competition. That is wild. That is bananas. See how much taller RuPaul, well, RuPaul must be wearing some boots because he was so much taller than you. One of his little heel boots. He was on Apple Box. Oh, uh, okay. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> oh, I was like, wait, why is he on Apple Box? So should we go on to the main stage? Let's go to the main stage. Let's talk first talk about RuPaul's look. I think RuPaul looks great. I this is vintage Matthew Anderson makeup era. Um, obviously, obviously, we know Zaldi makes everything RuPaul wears um, on Drag Race. And I think that this looks great. I, I love the fabric choice. I love the hair. I love the little the, the little Mariah Carey butterfly on RuPaul's, in RuPaul's hair. I think Ru looks great. Yeah, RuPaul looks absolutely stunning. Uh, but let's get into the runway. First up was Acid Betty doing the money ball. I think Acid looks great. I think Amazing. this is crazy that she did this in the time. Um, I love her hair. I don't just, I, I, I mean, I get why she has gold tights on because gold, money, whatever. I don't think she needed the gold tights, but I think this is a, this is a, such a great job with the challenge and the materials. I think Acid fucking turned it. I agree. She looks great. She also, she also had gold coins on her shoes, which th- which I think she took this picture before she glued the coins on. Oh. Um, but yeah, Betty looks great. I don't even know how she constructed this money popping off of her shoulder. Up next was Bob the Drag Queen. Gone with the Window, season two. I think you look great. I think this was a really great job with the materials. Uh, that you made the purse, the purse first. Um, mm-hmm. And you put it in your hair. And th- those weren't your shoes, right? Those were somebody else's shoes? Kim lent me those shoes, and I never gave them back. I actually wore those shoes at the finale. I won Drag Race in those shoes. Um, yes, I think you look great. I think I, I think incorporating the material in all your in, in your bag and in the hair, and um, yeah, I, th- I think this is this is great with the challenge. Thank you. I stand by this look. Um, and this is the introduction of the iconic purse. Um, I still have this outfit and this purse. It is framed in my living room, and I am very proud of this look. And um, yeah, I think I look great. I think I nailed it. Yeah. Up next, we have uh, Dax, who's doing season seven Hello Kitty Girl look. Yeah. Um, I like that she had this hair because this hair matches it. looks so great. It's, it's giving me very anime with that fantasy. And I mean, it's, it's a cocktail dress, but she put the, I think this is Hello Kitty hair or some type of fur. She had the, she has a Hello Kitty bows around. Oh, different Hello Kitty bows. And I'm thinking some type of Hello Kitty fur on the top of it. And I think this is fine. I think this is fine with the challenge. I just really love the line, anything a 12-year-old girl wants, I want it more. I thought that was very funny. I do not like this dress. The dress is just so, it's just so plain, and it's just a bunch of stuff around her neckline. But I do love this wig. I think she looks really, really good in this wig, though. She kind of looks like Wendy Williams. Let's talk about Nisha Lopez. He's the one dragging on a dime. Girl, no. This looks crazy. It, it's bad. It's bad. Maybe it could have been saved if she would have made that mid that belt thing or corset thing a smaller to be like tiny. 
But yeah, this is bad. This is not good nature. No, no, no. Yeah, no, mama, mama, this is garbage. This is so, I just don't even know what the plan was. Why? I I can't make sense of this, but I will say maybe if, maybe if she just like stitched the dress up and like made that the fantasy, but no, this is, this is not good. No, 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 no good. Um, Up next is Miss Kim Chi. Kim Chi doing the hairball season three. I I love this look. The only thing I don't like is having the bra out. I wish she would have put some of that black. She would take some of that, some of that weaving here, some 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 of some of those bundles, and put them on the tits and cover the bra. That's the only thing that looks weird to me that the tits, the bra, just they are exposed. I kind of like it. I think it looks. I think it looks really kind of cool with the bra out. And um, I like this whole look. I like everything about this look. I think this is a really great look. And I remember us all being like, "Oh, Kim came to play." Oh, Kim is for real that bitch. You better work my thing. Like I, work. I like this look. I like the bra. I like the necklaces. I like all of it. It is great. What I would have is maybe I would have teased that the hair on the wig on her head. I would have teased that, and so so that you can see more of the glitter thing here, and have the hair would have been up, and have the ears in that that would be even bigger and wilder. It would look to make it look to make it look more like a lion's mane. Uh, but yeah, those are my things of it, about this look. I also forgot that about Kim's walk. I forgot Kim's yeah. little walk. That, yeah. like, she was really hoofing it. It really was, girl. Cynthia Lee Fontaine does a season five sugar ball. This is not a good look. This is a bunch of candy yeah. on a corset with a piece of fabric that is not a skirt. This is, I cannot in good faith say but she very, was safe, girl. anything nice about this look. She was, I don't think she should have been safe, but this is this is not the look. This is not the look. Yeah, it was not my fave. And not even looking at the skirt now. The skirt looks even wilder. Um, and it, oh, she was just gluing all, those, all that candy. She just glued more candy to it. like So you could like really encrust it with the candy so you can't see like the corset snap thingies. Um. Yeah, I wish she had. I wish she had knowledge. crushed the candy and made it smaller pieces. It could be like a mosaic or something. I don't know. I this is not it. Um, let's go into yeah. um to uh our little Naomi Naomi Smalls, who um so the controversy <laughs> on set was that was that Naomi Smalls was wearing a dress that she brought there. Oh, that was the controversy. Got it. But they didn't, they didn't address that on camera, obviously, right? No, they did not address it on camera. But she was in a dress. Well, you remember when Nisha did say she's wearing a five dollar dress, and um, and I believe that at one point Na- Layla also said something. I have it written down. I forgot that Layla and Na- Nisha both came for Layla for Naomi and her dress. Um, and if I was in the bottom, I would have been fucking pissed too, to be honest. But I wasn't, so I was fine. <laughs> Um, but yeah, this this boat is not my fave. <laughs> she just put the bow on top of it and a rainbow flag and like just put like a little piece. <laughs> this is kind of wild, Naomi. <laughs> I can't believe how she got. I can't believe she got. Honestly, I can't believe she got away with this. This this is bad. She better work. Well, you know what? They were also judging on the picture, and her picture was probably one of the first. Uh, that is yeah, true. Her her. So I think the picture saved Naomi. But this yeah, this boat fantasy is not cute. So Chi Chi came out in the season six glitter ball, glitter ball, and um, I think she did a good job. I don't, I, I don't like the gloves. I do not like these yeah, gloves. I agree, the gloves are unnecessary. But everything else, I really like. I can't remember if it was this one or not, but I there was some wig she was wearing, and what is that noise? I hit my mic. Oh. There was, I think it was this week or not, but like at some point, Chi Chi said, "Good, it's my good wig," and we were all like, "That's your, that's your good wig." Uh-huh. Um, yeah, the gloves are a miss for me, and having the the glitter ball is like a purse or or is is, is cute. Um, I mean, the disco ball is like, as a as a purse that's cute, but the dress is not my fave. Let's go on to um, Thorgy Thor, who is wearing. Uh, she's doing Kate Couture. I believe this was season three as well. Ebony's a Scrooge um, girl. And, um, you know, on the runway, this picture, it looks crazy. On the runway, it looks really good, though. I don't know I what's going on the runway. I mean, I, th- I think it looks good here, too. I think it's just this hair looks crazy. Like, it looks <laughs> even weirder. Something about this just looks wild. But I think that she looks, I like this look. I like this. I think she looks great. It's very simple, but it looks good, though. Yeah, I think I think she looks great. Her body looks good. I like the uh, the hair mimicking the cream cheese frosting on a red velvet cake with her with the red lace gown. I think she looks great. 
not Robbie Turner in this bitch ball look. This is bad. Yeah, bad. This, this is wild. Is so this is so bad. And I can't believe they made her actually walk a dog in the runway for real. I've been like, girl, this is a lot. And she had the dog poop in the baggie. At least, at least she's like trying to make a through line. She had the dog. She had the dog poop in the bag. She had the little um, dog treats on her tits. And she has a dog collar no. on. She was committed. No, no. Or she should be committed like in this look. I do not like it. I hate. I hate that look so much. Let's go to Derek Barry. So this. So Derek Barry looks. Derek Barry looks good. She looks good. I, I can't really think of too much wrong with this look. She looks pretty good. Super simple though. Just a panty and a bra. Wait, does, does she reveal? Does she reveal the bra too to be nude? No, she just takes off the skirt and shows that she has like a bush, a, a, a Christmas, a Christmas wreath on her pussy. Got it. Um, I yeah, I think she looks good. fine. I, I, I will say in in. In the, I mean, it does look good, but it is crazy. She literally just glued some things to a panty and just wearing a bra. That's a little wild. Yeah, imagine. <laughs> um, and, and I think there's a chance she might have made that bra there or glued the stuff to the bra. But her outfit is very. I, it was honestly, basically, all she made was that muff on her wrist, or I think they mm-hmm. may have the muff have been included even. <laughs> and she uh, made a skirt. She really made a skirt and, and put a reef on a panty. Yeah, that was wild. Sitting next to here with Layla McQueen, who was in the bottom, who made a who made a blazer, like she made a whole blazer with this like yeah. constructed thing on this on her left shoulder. That's wild. And the judges were trying to act like Layla was like underdone. I was like, this looks. I think Layla's look is so conceptual. It's giving the full post apocalyptic moment. Mm-hmm. Maybe in the apocalypse, bitch, your pants got burnt off. You don't have pants, bitch. Like this, I think Layla. I was. We were all very shocked that Layla was in the bottom. All of us. Yeah, I think Layla's great. Layla should definitely have been uh, top. I mean, not, not in the bottom for this, in my opinion. So what happens is RuPaul calls some names, sends us to the back if we're safe, and the girls on the top and bottom are Kim, Betty, Naisha, Naomi, Robbie Turner, and Layla McQueen represent the tops and the bottoms. And I'm pretty sure that Kim was a top. No, Betty was a top. Kim was a top. N- Kim was the top. Nasha was a bottom. Uh-huh. Naomi, I, I don't was know, middle. I, yeah, but it was like, but it was. I couldn't tell if it was middle safe or I mean middle bottom or middle top. Like I couldn't right. tell which side it was. It was definitely very, yeah. And then Robbie and um, Robbie and uh, Na- Naomi, Layla were both in the bottom, and yeah. Layla just looked r- so defeated. I would have been defeated too. Teams. I would have been very like, upset she looked about it. So sad. Yeah. Rightfully so, though. I agree. Like, I would have been like, really? Something Naomi said that really tickled me. Sometimes Naomi just says stuff. I'm like, girl. Naomi said, see, what I tried to do was I tried to take a challenge from a past season and reimagine it. <laughs> oh, or, or, like, it make, or make it new. And I was like, bitch, that's what that's what all that's what all of us did. All of us took a challenge from past season and tried to make it new, bitch. So we found out the bottom two are Nisha Lopez and Layla McQueen, and they lip sync to applause by Lady Gaga. And I think, and so during the lip sync, Nisha's not doing great. Yeah, she's not. She's not. She's not, like, she's not going all out. I will say for a minute at the beginning, like because she was maintaining in the front, and Layla just kept on walking ar- behind her and just like being lost. I was like, so th- at the beginning of the lip sync, I'm like, in my for me, Nature is doing a better job because she's just not allowing herself to be eaten by the stage. Like the lights are on her. She's right in the front. She's doing the thing. But then, Nash- then Layla McQueen did her little uh, knee drop hair mm-hmm. whip, and I think that's where she ate. Um, Nation Lopez up, yeah, uh, in in the lip sync and and um and we uh also there I, there was some other stuff that I was kind of like oh my god like there was just a lot going on this this episode I was like called back to like all these things that I like remember and be like wow I forgot about that that was a whole moment um but Nation Lopez who is a former Miss Continental by the way which is again the most one of the most prestigious pageants in the world is the mm-hmm. first girl to go home. On season she eight is. of RuPaul's Drag Race, unfortunately, and I know a lot and of she's the, torn up. Yeah, a lot of the pageant community was like, it was like, what the fuck? Because Nisha, she's like, 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 oh, who's Mister? Is that Jacob? Um, she has like one, and she's done a really good job. So it was, I, I, I think pageant people were shocked to see Nisha go. They're like, not Nisha Lopez, a winner is Continental. Yeah, it was quite shocking. And um, Layla McQueen stays to slay another day, literally one other day. <laughs> Spoiler, spoilers, spoiler alert. Um, 
Monday, how does it feel to be reviewing season eight, the shortest season of RuPaul's Drag Race? It feels good. I, I love season eight when it's happening. It was a fun season, and I can't, and I'm excited to watch more of it. How season do you feel eight, reviewing the it? The first season of RuPaul's Drag Race to win an Emmy, we won Best Host. Yeah, but y'all did not say, and which again goes back to my point. I said, um, RuPaul won the Emmy, but season season ten was the first season that the that that like the cast won the Emmy, like the show. Okay, the, the first of all, let, let me just clear a couple of things. The okay, cast the of Drag cast. Race has the cast of Drag Race has never won an Emmy, not even once. Um, what I, I and I never said it won Best Reality. What I said is season eight was the first season to win an Emmy, which is true. Season seven, the first season to be Ru- nominated for an Emmy. RuPaul was the, was the first. Was no RuPaul won an Emmy. No, Drag Race won an Emmy. Drag Race once that happens, it is a Emmy winning show. Mm. Like well, for example, uh, we'll do some research so, on that. So, so for example, you ever notice we say Drag Race one has fourteen Emmy nominations? It doesn't say RuPaul has Emmy nominations. So when they say Drag Race has fourteen Emmy nominations. Whether whether it's down to costumes or or camera or show well, season or ten was host. the first season that um, the show won an Emmy. I don't. Is that true? Yes. I think nine won the Emmy. It was season ten. It was season ten. Uh, well, congratulations. I'm not going. Unlike you, I'm not going to try to take that from you. Thank I'm just going to acknowledge the you truth because it's true. Just and just like you cannot take away that season eight is the first season of Drag Race to win an Emmy, or do you want to take that away? That Um Anyway, exactly. I'm excited. Okay, for and it. let this be a lesson, to all of you out there listening. No matter where you go in life, you will always have haters, and they're going to hate, but they can't help themselves. This is part of this is part of their personalities. You got to let them. You got to let them do their thing. Well, you know? this season's gonna win Emmys. Woo. Um, I'm excited to do this episode two. So y'all come back here. So y'all come back now. You here? Thank you all for joining us. And next week we'll be reviewing episode two of season eight of RuPaul's Drag Race. Season eight. All right, y'all. We'll see you. Bye. Oh. <clears throat>